Disclaimer, before I begin this video, please, mother, sister, anyone related to me, leave. Because there are some things included in this video that I don't want you to hear. And if you do, I warned you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Astrid and I'm super excited to have you guys here today. Today, I asked you guys in my Instagram story to expose me. I said, drag me. I said, have no mercy for me. I said, spit on my face. Where am I going with this? The point is, I said, expose me, please. Ask me questions. Ask me anything you want to know. Like, this is where all them nosy bitches who want to be in my business have the opportunity to politely ask. Oh shit, I almost dropped my champagne. Yeah, I need this, okay? This, I need this little juice. I need this. This is apple juice, by the way. I need this apple juice because of how intense these questions are. You know shit gets real when I have to drink apple juice. Salud. There you go. We need to look into each other's eyes. It's the gloss in the glass for me. Biggest pet peeve. I think I've said it before in another video, but I'm gonna say it again, okay? So if you come across me, you are not about to do these things, honey, no. Because if not, I'm gonna have to fight you. And I don't like to fight. I've never fought a bitch. Cause I'm bougie like that. No, I'm just kidding. When people walk slowly, huh, slow walkers, and when people chew, when people chew with their mouth open, uh, I've been tripping. I'm over here trying to eat in peace. Ow, me mordí la lengua. I'm over here trying to eat in peace. And somebody is like, uh, uh, mm, no. Okay, somebody else asked, are you currently talking to anybody? See girl, this is why you gotta be more clear with your questions because um, do I talk to people daily? Yes, I talk to my sister, my mother, my friends, you know. But uh, I know what you're trying to ask. You're trying to be nosy. And you're trying to ask me if, I, if I'm talking to someone, like in, a, in that way, in a flirty way. I see you. I see you. Um, no. Like I wouldn't say yes, but I wouldn't say no. I'm keeping my options open. No, that sounds like I'm talking to a lot. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Am I though? I'm not. Ooh. Another one of you is asking, Has estado enamorado, enamorada, I'm a girl, enamorada. Um, have I been in love? Have I been in love? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it felt like I was, cause it was really hard to get over that person. But that wasn't love, that was like lust. Or like at least, I don't know how to call it. No, I haven't been in love. I just know the day I am in love, mm. all this toughness, mm. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. oh god, first time popping the cherry, popping the cherry, doing the deed, first time, I don't think I've ever talked about this, oh god, okay, so I'm gonna keep it short and simple, short and sweet and simple, didn't wait until marriage. I don't believe in that, but I respect that if you do, honestly. But again, you do you. If you respect me, I respect you, honey. We all good, we good, we good. If something answers, I'm out. So I was 17 and no, it wasn't with a boyfriend. Oh God, I can't believe I'm talking about, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh -huh, I was 17 and uh, I did choose to have that moment with that certain person um, in that certain place. And it wasn't amazing. It was like, for me, honestly, it was like ripping a Band-Aid off. And it was like with a, with a friend. I wouldn't call it friends with benefits because I was a child. But uh, yeah, that's like the... Th mm -mm. Next question. Woo, si pudiera vivir en otro país, ¿cuál sería? If you could live in another country, where would it be or which one would it be? I'm from Honduras, but I live in Canada. But if I could live somewhere else, baby, I'm going to France. Ooh, honey, I'm going to Dubai. Is that Greece I see over there? I'm going over there. Like, I'm going all over the place. I want to travel so much and I want to live in so many different places. It's insane. I don't think I even have the lifetime for it. Best drunk memory. Explain. If I was drunk, I'm not remembering shit. 
like my best drunk memory um i was like it was the big in the beginning of like my university experience we were on like our university's campus and in the middle of them they have like these hills and they call them the teletubby hills because they're like very green and perfectly round we were drunk and shit so we were like these hills look exquisite right now why don't we roll down that's what my roommate said i'm like what? She's like, yeah, do you want to go, do you want to roll down the hill? And I'm over here like, okay. And next thing you know, we're rolling down hills drunk. And the next day I had bruises all over my body, but that was so fun. Like, mm, I love that memory. Ooh, drunk sex, yes or no? This can go in many directions, but if you're asking me if it's correct, if it's consensual, sure. But if it's not, mm -mm, let's not even go there, honey. If I've had it, no. No, well, <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing irresponsible. <laughs> Worst and best party. We went to this party and there were a lot of Canadians. I'm not saying Canadians are boring, but compared to Latinos, they're quite tranquil. <laughs> they're quite calm. I go to this party and I'm expecting like a I get there and they are sadly playing beer pong and they're just like chilling sitting down for me that's a get-together not a party that was like the worst party it wasn't bad I met nice people but for me for my taste and best party I don't know I've had really good parties but the best one I don't know I'm gonna have to go ahead and say like something related to a prom have you ever thought on what your dream wedding dress would look like yes it's weird it's weird because if you know me you know i'm always saying like i don't want to get married what the fuck when i was younger i always dreamt of like a big dreamy wedding let me try to show you because with like my words i know you guys won't understand it strapless top with like very elegant bling. I don't like that like nasty ratchet bling. And kind of like of a heart shape. Or maybe straight, I wouldn't mind that. It cinches at my waist and then it kind of flows. Not like a, a huge quinceañera type of dress. Kind of like a nice princessy gown. Maybe silk. I don't know. I don't know. ¿Cómo te sentirías si tu último tope, or like beso, fuera el beso del resto de tu vida so like how would you feel if like if your last kiss was like the only kiss you could have for the rest of your life or like the person you kissed was the only person you can kiss for the rest of your life yeah i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind we're good so yeah i wouldn't mind it'd be nice <laughs> So, um, if you guys don't know, I was doing like, I was meeting strangers on Omegle and I met this fine piece of man. He was really cute. He was my age. He had a beautiful accent and everyone wanted to know what the hell happened with him. Nothing, nothing happened. Sadly for me, I was like, my husband, is that you? Are you my husband? My husband. Like, where's the ring? Put the ring on it. I wouldn't mind. But he was kind of boring and i was like you know what i still want to finish my video so i just to the next to the next what advice would you give to your second semester senior self um cherish your classmates and even if there's like a lot of anxiety a lot of stress and a lot of like changes going on take a moment to breathe and look around and appreciate that you live with your parents and um, you're in your hometown and, and you're cur yeah, like, take a moment to breathe and look around and appreciate because life moves on fast after that best memory of us. Okay, so girl, best memory. Okay, once we had a tequila night. It was like a girl's night, but we bought one tequila bottle for three of us. And uh, we finished that bitch. Like, we finished it top to bottom in pure shots and shots and shots and shots and shots. I sound like an alcoholic, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So, yeah, we drank tequila until we couldn't stand up anymore. And that's my best memory with you. Because, I don't know, it was a, it was a really fun night. Story time de la casa del pecado. <laughs> Vos sabes cuál. So, again, without like giving way too much um 
where I study. There's the guys that live in this house and they call it la casa del pecado aka the house of sin okay what can i say there was a party that night i was looking cute and this guy who at first i didn't really have my eye on but apparently i don't know what clicked in my brain and this guy was there too and he started talking and i started talking and we were like are we in the same page right now are we gonna kiss right now and we were both like hell yeah so that that's basically what happened in a nutshell like that was like my fun little crazy story that i was like with this guy all that night so ooh. well there you have it guys and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because i already know baby if you got to this point in the video you're in love with me and i know you want to see my face even more so go ahead and subscribe you know what, as a matter of fact, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Cause I know you wanna see my face again, honey. All my social media will be down below in the description box. So <laughs> if you wanna stalk me or whatever, you can go ahead. I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. And all I can say is I love you guys so, 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 so much. Stay safe, I'm sending you a big hug and a nice juicy slap on the ass. And I guess I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.